One thing that I find myself mentioning an awful lot in these video blogs is Doctor Who. 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 But what is it? What, what the hell am I talking about? Well, Doctor Who is a British TV show about a 900 year old alien who travels through time and space in a blue box. Which, if you're someone who's never experienced Doctor Who, probably sounds like the weirdest idea for a TV show that you've ever heard, but it's a bit of a national treasure for us Brits. Uh, probably because of its longevity, I mean it's been on TV since 1963. In fact my mum actually saw the first ever episode when it was being broadcast. When you saw the first ever episode of Doctor Who, how old were you? Um, I was very, very young. Um, I'd rather not give my age away. Okay, did you used to hide behind the sofa when you were watching it? It does sound like a bit of a cliche, but my brothers and I definitely did hide behind the sofa when we were watching the Daleks. Just for people who don't know what a Dalek is, my mum has one here. It's basically a Doctor Who enemy bad guy person. So there's been no escaping Doctor Who in not, my lifetime. Not in your lifetime, no. Charlie, no. One of the loveliest things about old Doctor Who was that the special effects were adorable. Which is basically a nice way of saying that they were terrible. In fact, nowadays I could do better special effects just sitting here in my bedroom. One of the reasons that Doctor Who's been on TV for so long is that the character, the Doctor, the 900 year old alien, he has this way of cheating death. Whenever he dies, he regenerates. Every single atom in his body starts afresh. He gets a new body, he gets a new personality, and he keeps on living. Which, in terms of the real world, means that some other actor comes in and starts playing him. Now, I'll usually cite Doctor Who as being my favourite TV show, which, to a casual viewer of the show, might seem a little bit of an odd thing to say. I mean, sometimes the show could be brilliant. You know, great stories, scary monsters, witty dialogue. When it's good, it's the best. But, when it's bad, it's really, 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 really bad. For example, there's this one episode called The Unicorn and the Wasp in which a giant wasp kills a man with lead piping and then the giant wasp goes and falls in love with a human. It's it's absurd. I mean, that's just my opinion, but it's, it's really, really, really bad. So given that it's pretty hit and miss, I mean, why is it so popular? Why is it my, my favourite TV show? Well, not only does it have this massive legacy attached to it, but I think, and this is just me speculating, I think that people love the bad episodes as much as they love the good episodes. There's a great community attached to Doctor Who called Whovians, and I, I guess I would consider myself a Whovian. And I see Whovians as wannabe TV critics, you know, people who love to pick apart the plot holes and point out the bad dialogue and, and cringe at the really bad CGI, but also when they can revel in the brilliant acting and the amazing plot twists. I guess I'm making this video to try and justify to you and to myself, I guess, why I consider Doctor Who to be my favourite TV show. I know for a fact that my brother and sister think I'm a bit odd in liking Doctor Who as much as I do, especially my brother who thinks it's awful, which it is at times, you know, I'll admit that, but I think that's one of the great things about it. But this is just the opinion of one person. If you like Doctor Who, tell me why. And if you don't like Doctor Who, tell me why as well. I'm interested. And if you're someone that's never seen Doctor Who, then I would definitely recommend it. Uh, you've just had the almost imponderable joy of watching Charlie is so cool-like, which makes you like cool. Given that Doctor Who's a science fiction show, I wore my science t-shirt today. Exterminate! Exterminate! That's a really bad impersonation, sorry. <laughs>